Welcomes to the classroom, Richard Curtis. What's up, Stephanie? You ready to do this? Andrew, my dude, and Rom, team captain. Look at that smile. Teachers are over here going bananas. They don't know the storm that is a brewing on the student side over here. Welcome to the show, everybody. Today, it's the students on my right, dressed in black because they're ready to rock. And our teachers dressed in, in red. They got the Happer Horsham High School colors on. It's Montgomery County in the house today. I got my red on too because they're officially in the classroom. The show that lets students try to prove that they're smarter than their teachers. Now, I always know the audience is ready to rock. These smiles out there are cooking. It's game time. So let's do it. I'm putting $500 on the line. This game starts with a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Here are the questions. I have 90 seconds ready to roll. Buzzers are in hand. This game starts right now. Which European country is considered the birthplace of the Renaissance? First one in, Mrs. Hilker. Italy. Italy is right. What team did the Eagles face in Super Bowl 52? Mr. Frommel. New England Patriots. New England Patriots is right. In Albert Einstein's equation, E equals MC squared, what does the E stand for, ROM? Energy. Energy is right, students, you're on the board. Extra credit question, here we go. Hats with four-leaf clovers on them and blue moons are two of the tasty treats in what cereal? Frommel. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, absolutely. In the U.S. system of measurements, how many quarts are in a gallon? Frommel again. Four. Four is right. Frommel, you're on fire. The Obama family has two dogs named Bo and what? The answer was Sonny. Sonny and Bo. Which character asked the wizard for a heart in the 1939 movie The Wizard of Oz? Mrs. Hilker. Scarecrow. For the steal. Andrew. Tin Man. Tin Man's gonna get you there. What is the name of the mythical section of the Atlantic Ocean where airplanes and ships have disappeared without a trace? Mr. Frommel. Bermuda Triangle. That's good. Angela Mark Merkel became the first female chancellor of what country, Rob? Germany. Germany is right. In the NHL, the Canadian city of Calgary is represented by what team? Hilker. Flames. The Flames is right. What is the name of the new MTV dating show starring DJ Pauly D and Vinny from the Jersey Shore? Barely nobody saw it. Double shot at love, and that's gonna end it for Pop Quiz. <laughs> Rob, what's the deal, man? You're not a Jersey Shore fan. Yeah. Well, I watch all the dating shows in my free time. There you go. Well, how about it, man? You guys did well. You got 30 points on the board for the students, 70 for our teachers. You guys came out. Frommel, you're feeling on fire. The game's ready here. So far, so good. All right, cool. We have the students and teachers of Hatboro Horsham High School in Horsham, Pennsylvania, home of the Hatters. I'm so glad they're here. What do you guys say? We jump right into it. Meet our teams. Hey, I'm Rom. I'm a senior at Happer Horsham High School, and the only reason I didn't take AP Bio was because of that guy over there. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a junior at Happer Horsham, and Mr. Engie is the worst teacher ever. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a junior at Happer Horsham, and I took AP Bio with Mr. Engie, and he's not really competition. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hilker. I teach English, and these kids over here are about to get sk 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 schooled. Hi, I'm Mr. Engie, and I teach AP Biology. And today, these guys are finally going to learn a little bit of a life lesson. Hey, I'm Mr. Frommel. I teach math. The teacher's score is going to add up to an L for the students. I just want to be the first one to say, Engie, I would take your class, but man, you just got <laughs> crushed by these students. The good news is, you can give them real detentions when you get back to school, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. <laughs> rules are simple enough, right? Put everyone into detention, you win some points. Let's get right into it. Students, you're trailing, so we're going to start with you guys. Here's your category. Talk about it as a group. Player pass on the government. 
They're going to play. Here's yeah, your question, guys. Established in Article 2, Section 2 of the U.S. Constitution, what group that advises the president is made up of the vice president and the heads of 15 executive departments? The cabinet. The cabinet is right. Good job, guys. They didn't even think about it. They're quick with it. They're the Hatters. You guys are on fire here in detention. How about it? Who do you send? And I got to be honest, I'm excited to see you do it. Frommel, take a hike. Wow, Mr. Frommel is the first one into detention. I thought you guys for sure were going Mr. Eggy. No, he's done nothing so far. How about it? The trash talk continues on the show. This is why I love this show. And teachers. We give it to you now. Okay. Category, sports. Take it. Yeah, we'll play. Here you go. What former 76er was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2018? Allen Iverson. Iverson. Allen Iverson. Incorrect. Maurice Cheeks was the inductee, and you couldn't get it done, Mr. Hangy, okay. Mrs. Hilker. Get ready. Students. Yeah. Hilker. Hilker out of the game. <laughs> Leaving Hangy all by himself. And he's saying, bring it, kids. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys can win this right here. You don't even have to send it back over to him. If you love this category, and here it is, instruments. Yeah. Play. Yeah, play. We're going to play. Here you go. When playing Cajun, bluegrass, folk, or country music, a violin is often referred to as what string instrument? A fiddle. A fiddle. I heard Andrew say it as soon as I said it. Andrew loves music. Hey, Andrew, do you want to send him to detention? Yeah. That's it. And you, you head over there. And students, I'm coming over here, guys. How about that round? Round, you and the squad just tied this game up at 70 points. Look, the teachers are in detention. We're going to hang out. And when we come back, art class. It's one of my favorites. And we're going to be drawing right after this. in our red and black because it's half for a horsham day on the classroom you guys are from montgomery county and i am going to ask you your name kyle higgins kyle higgins you yeah. got to tell me what your mascot's a hatter what is a hatter yeah well we've been trying to figure it out ever since our school opened Wait, so <laughs> you don't know either well what i like to think of it as is just that whoever wears the hat is the champion and anyone who's been to our school knows that we are the champion oh Okay. All right. Well, who do you have winning this game today? Oh, I have to have my money on the students. Let's go, Let's students. Go. Hey, we're taking it to our class. Here we go. It's a one-man hype train right there. All right, here's how this game works. Each team selected one player to draw on this sport. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. I have Stephanie up here with me now. She's going to select one of these cards with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. She's then going to have five seconds to draw. That's a quick five seconds, so draw quickly. Your teammates are going to have ten seconds to talk about it. And you guys get one guess, so make it a good one. Correct answer first round, 30 points. You take a lead here. Guess incorrectly, I'm going to give you two more chances, but the points are going to decrease with each round. Stephanie? Look at a bright-minded right. student. Are we Thanks. red or blue? blue? She's blue. You stand back here. I'm going to put this one away here. I'm going to uncap your marker while you look at your word. I'm looking at Andrew and Rom right now. They're geared up and ready. Five seconds on the clock, and it starts right now. Oh, she is an incredibly good artist. Okay, stop right there. Let's see how well you guys do. Ten seconds to talk about it. What are we looking at? Oh, wow. Puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle? Puzzle, yeah. Puzzle? That's exactly right. Stephanie, first rounder. She gets the 30 points added to the score. Brings your score up to 100. You change. Here comes my man, Mr. Angie, back up to the board. Here we go. Flip that around. I'm going to give you your card here as you open it up. There it is. That will get the right color. Right. <laughs> And I'm going to give you this. Are you an artist, Mr. Angie? I am most certainly not. Okay, so this should work out excellent for your team then. Yes. All the pressure is on you right now. Five seconds starts right now. Ooh. Mr. Frommel, do you have faith over here? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Let's see how well he does. <laughs> pig. Pig, 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 pig. I like the curl. Yeah. Okay. You talked about it? Pig. 
Pig incorrect. Mr. Angie, you get another shot here. Five more seconds starts right now. Down to 20 points here, guys. You can get this round here. Okay, stop. He added a ton. What are we looking at now? Um, clown. Yeah! Oh. There it is! You mix in a few shoulders, next thing you know, you have a clown. <laughs> Angie gets 20 points for his squad. Students, you take the 10-point lead in that round. I'm loving to see both sides playing a great game here. And I'm gonna put some more points on the line right now with extra credit. I'm gonna ask one extra credit question today. You guys will have one minute during the break to answer the question. Correct answer, here's 10 points. Good luck, guys, here's your question. What profession do Mary Poppins, Mrs. Doubtfire, and Maria from The Sound of Music have in common? Do you know the answer, guys? If you're playing at home, play along. Tweet me, let me know, I know it. I'm gonna give you the answer when we come back. Today we have the students and teachers from Hatboro Horsham High School in Montgomery County. They're in the game here. How about this one? Students 100, teachers 90. This one's neck and neck. I'm having a great time on the show today. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Now, before the break, we asked both teams this extra credit question. What profession do Mary Poppins, Mrs. Doubtfire, and Maria from The Sound of Music have in common? Teachers, we're going to start with you, Mrs. Hilker. We said nanny. Nanny's right. Gets you guys that 100 point mark. Yeah. We got a tie game. Unless Rom can break that right now. What'd you guys say? We also said Nanny. Nanny, there it is, guys. Good work. Extra credit both sides. Everyone loves extra credit. Students, you guys have been playing a great game. If you win that 500 today, where's it going to go? It's going to go to Special Olympics. So our school has an event where we host most of Montgomery County, and we have a Special Olympics, and like 70% of the students volunteer, and it's a great time. Rob, I, I know you, your school very well, and it is something that, honestly, it is all over the place with how much energy and just enthusiasm and love you guys put into that. So that 500 go a long way. Hopefully you guys can pull that off. And teachers, 500 for you guys. If you win it, where's it going to go? It's going to go to Minithon, which is our smaller version or local version to benefit children with cancer. I heard that's a wild party over there as well. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll tell you what, guys. We got a game on our hands. Everyone's smiling. We're all playing for great money here. Picture Day is next. This one's continuing right now. Okay, grab your buzzers, guys. You're going to need them for this one. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. We covered it completely with boxes. Now, I'm going to give you three clues. One at a time with each clue, we'll remove three of those boxes. You buzz in first, you get it correct, identify that picture, 10 points. If you get it wrong, your whole side will be locked out. And the other side can jump in, buzz in, and steal it. Now, we have three pictures today. Let's jump right into a little picture day with this one. And here's your first clue. You can go for a ride on these. First one in, Mr. Engie. It's a trolley. Is that a trolley? Incorrect. Students for the steal, free guess if you want it. Andrew. Is it a duck boat? Is that a duck boat? All rideable, not the right answer. Next question. Here are the National Historic, excuse me, they are a National Historic Landmark. Mr. Frommel. Jitney. Is that a jitney? Incorrect. Students, free guess if you want it. We'll give you the last clue right here. You can find them in San Francisco. Mrs. Hilker. Cable car. Is that a cable car? That's a cable car. Nicely done, Mrs. Hilker. Last clue there. Grabs it. Loving that jitney answer, though. That's a good CL reference right there. The old jitney, the Jersey Shore. Here we go with picture number two. Let's cover it up. And here's your clue. This person was a notable 19th century abolitionist. Andrew. Harriet Tubman. Is that Harriet Tubman? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal if you want it. Otherwise, I'll give you another clue. Mrs. Hilker? Frederick Douglass. Is that Frederick Douglass? Incorrect. Here's your next clue. Her writing was banned in some parts of the U.S. Rob? Sir Joyner Truth. Is that Joyner Truth? Sir Joyner. Sir Joyner Truth. Okay. Incorrect. Here we go. Last clue. Three more boxes, please. Let's see if we can clear it up right here. She's the author of the novel Uncle Tom's Cabin, Mrs. Hilker. Harriet Beecher Stowe. Is that Harriet Beecher Stowe? That is, uh, and we 
we heard all the, I'm telling you, we heard them all there. And we got her on the last one. That's going to get you the 120 to 110 lead. Students, you're going to want to win this one right here. Picture three. This person is Canadian. Mr. Angie. Will Ferrell. Is that Will Ferrell? <laughs> Incorrect. Rob. Drake. Is that Drake? I love it. We're just naming the whole country. Let me see <laughs> if I can help here. I'll give you another clue. He's the subject of a popular meme. Mrs. Hilker? Justin Bieber. Is that JB's? Incorrect. Stephanie jumps in. Ryan Reynolds. Is that Ryan Reynolds? Man, we just we have four Canadians off the board here. <laughs> Clue number three. There can't be that many left, right? He starred in movies such as First Man, La La Land, and The Notebook. Hilker in first. Ryan Gosling. Is that my man, Ryan Gosling? Yeah, that sure is. <laughs> How about it? We named them all, and we finally got to the right Canadian there. Gets you guys up to 130, and the lead here heading in to that final exam. Let's shut it down. Here's the topic. Today's final exam is no bones about it. Now, students, I gotta ask you. You've been giving Angie a pretty hard time. Seems like you got a bone to pick with him. What's the deal? Oh, we all love him. It's just part of the HH culture. We joke around, but we all love each other. So, how, yeah, Angie, you culture. felt so good right there. His heart just exploded of happiness. I have felt a lot of love all day long. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a lot of love. All right, well, guys, we are in the final exams. All the questions today have something to do with the skeleton. That's the bone we're picking there. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is 100 points. You're going to work together, write down their answers in commercial break. But first, they're going to wait, hear the questions, and you at home, let's see how well you do right here. The first question, final exam, no bones about it. What is the name of the forearm bone that runs from the elbow to the thumb side of the wrist? Question two. What is the first and last name of the actor who suffered a facial fracture during a stunt while playing Thomas in Maze Runner, The Death Cure? And finally... What is another name for the mandible? Three questions, no bones about it. That's a fun final exam. I cannot wait to come back and see how well the students do paired up against their teachers. Who's going to win this thing? Old versus young, teachers versus students. We get to the bottom of this right after this. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. This is neck and neck for Afro Worsham. Teachers, 130 on the board. You're playing a great game, too. Students, you have 110. You guys are right on the cusp of saying you're smarter than your teachers. We know you want it. But can you follow through? We'll see how well you do. The topic today is no bones about it. On the final exam, three questions, 100 points each. Someone's getting crowned champion right here. Let's see who all they do. We're going to jump right into it with question number one. What is the name of the forearm bone that runs from the elbow to the thumb side of the wrist? We're looking for the thumb side of the wrist. Let's see if, let's see if we get it right. So Stephanie, she's an 11th grader, you said? We have the ulna. Incorrect. You guys are elbow to pinky on there. Elbow to thumb. Mr. Frommel, we said the radius. Radius is right. Woo! I should have taken my class. Students, <laughs> you're not out of this yet. And he's talking trash. I love it. He's bringing it back. Let's see if you can get it right back here. What is the first and last name of the actor who suffered a facial fracture during a stunt while playing Thomas in Maze Runner, The Death Cure? We said Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien is right. Gets you to 210. <laughs> and now we go to Mr. Angie, the topic of a lot of bones in this show here. What'd you say? I feel like I've been getting punched in the face a lot today, so 
Timothy Engie. Timothy Engie himself. That is incorrect, but I love the pun there. That is excellent. No points awarded, though. That's another punch to the face right there. Teachers, 2.30. You stay in the lead. On to our final question, and it looks like this. Students, you need to get this right to stay in the game. If you don't get this right, Rom, all the trash talk has been for nothing. But if you do, the game continues, and you can keep trash talking for a little bit longer. About eight seconds longer. Yeah. About eight <laughs> seconds longer if they have it right. What is another name for the mandible? The jaw. The jaw. Is right, and gets you to 310. Let's go. This place is electric. And here we go, Mrs. Hilker, you've been a team captain. You played a great game today. You had a lot of questions right. This is where it matters the most. Get it right, you win the game. $500 goes to Minithon and your charity. For the teachers at your school, you said... Jaw. The jaw and the teachers hold off the students for the 330 to 310 win. Hey, we played a great game. Students, you guys should be so proud. You guys played excellent today, and the Hatters represented Hatboro Horses so well. Thank you for being here. The check is going home with them. Join us next time because I want this check home with you. We'll see you next on The Classroom.